The hurricane took over our lives. This storm being this strong for this long, Shep, is something that we've never seen anywhere across the globe. All this as the hurricane gets closer to the U.S. At the gas station right now, 547. So exactly what? 24 hours before. We had to drive all the way on the turnpike just to get gas. There's no um, stores open anymore. They closed no everything. No stores open. No gas anywhere. You have to take the highway to get gas. Are you guys evacuating? Yeah. Going to it's Friday. The site that's not evacuating is okay, but the site that's evacuating has a line. Are you evacuating? We are. And where do you live? Key West. Oh, you live in Key West. How long have you lived in Florida? 35 years. Have you seen anything like this before? Well, Hurricane Andrew. Okay. Uh, never seen a storm beeline like this straight in. Why didn't you evacuate? Because we live there and we have hurricane rated glass, we've got AAA grade shutters, everything's great. You know, generator. We've, we've got generator, we've got gas, we've got water to last over a week, food we to last. Dogs. Are you evacuating? Yes, I am. To, you? Your, to your house. <laughs> I saw you as I go, that's Monica. All the people that are evacuating, they have to stop and take their dogs out. Here's a good example. Where are you evacuating from? The Keys. We're heading up to Georgia. What was the evacuation it's like empty. from the Keys? It's uh, If, let's say Thursday, everyone was heading out. There's traffic everywhere. The gas was gone. Everyone was going crazy. All the waters were out. There was no more food. Anybody staying? Uh, a few of my family is. I'm a little worried for them. Um, but let's hope that everyone stays safe. In that waterproof case. It's 7.44 p.m. I just listened to the wind conditions right now. It's gusting 23. And the hurricane is about 24 hours away? 24 hours. The airport is still open because I hear planes. Nothing's happening yet. They're probably moving at like six to the mountain. Car, 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 car. <laughs> We're just tired of it. Ah! We're just tired of being inside. The hurricane took over our lives. We're going out. We're going out. Holy sh
Things are getting better. Well, I mean worse. Whoa! Look at that. Oh man, before I was walking underneath this thing, the whole thing tilted. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god. I even god. like backed up like just in case it fell. There are down power lines everywhere. Everybody's getting gas now. It looks like that gas station has gas, so there's a huge line. That's another thing that's happening. Accidents, accidents, accidents. You guys okay? Yes, thank you. The second thing that happens after a hurricane here in South Florida is that most of the traffic lights go out. Well, there's a lot of trees down and uh, of course the sand from the water came all the way up here as you can see it's um it's everywhere there is some roofs out but mostly of all it's just the trees the trees there's a lot of trees down a lot of damages some trees on top of other cars nothing happened here other than sand got uh, washed up to the street but other than that no major damage this is full of sand. Look at that. We didn't evacuate. Okay, why not? Uh, because we had confidence in our structure and we wanted to be around and avoid all the traffic heading uh, north and coming back, so we stayed. I can't even get to work. I work at the western end of the beach. I can't get to work. I'm out of fuel. Yeah. 
Wow, the beach disappeared. Something that I didn't see this time that I've seen in previous hurricanes are fish. Uh, usually there's fish all over the road. Everybody's at the beach. Some boat, whoa, whoa. Single word of complaint. Mayor Siler, uh, here we are. Remarks, density altitude 2,000, niner, 100 feet Celsius. Altimeter two, niner, six, niner. This is the situation for thousands of people right now. It's gonna be a while. I'll be right back. Good job, man. Thank you for everything you do.